Okay, so I was in deep thought last night, uh, trying to wrap my brain around what feels like two independent paths in life that on the surface do not overlap whatsoever. On one side, we have minimalism or minimalist living. And then on the other side, there's authentic self-expression or self-embodiment, if you will. And the more I thought about this, the deeper that mental rabbit hole became because Although I've been practicing minimalism myself for, what, is this my sixth year? Yeah, six years now. I still understand and can resonate with many of the hesitations that come with simplifying one's life. Some of the most common hesitations I see in the comments on YouTube or in the occasional email or DM I'll receive from someone asking for my help or advice are things like overcoming guilt, uh, the notorious just-in-case items, the fear of being without sentimental items, moving past gifts, and the list goes on and on. But for me, the major hesitation I felt at the beginning of my journey had everything to do with my identity being tied to my possessions, which made it extremely difficult to let go or believe that minimalism could help me because it felt like every item I donated was a piece of me gone. And this is why I could not turn my brain off last night for the life of me because Maybe you're watching this video right now or are subscribed to my channel because you too want to declutter your life in some way. Maybe you want to reinvent yourself and discover what's important to you and why those things are important to you or develop overall clarity in your life. Let's put it that way. Maybe you're seeking guidance because minimalism and authentic self-expression feel like two independent paths for you as well. And you just wanna feel confident that you're on the right path. See, when I first started my journey, I remember voicing that one of the reasons I wanted to try minimalism was so that I can reinvent myself. At that time in my life, I was on a path of trying to figure out who I was, what I wanted, what was important to me, why those things were important to me. And during those early moments of that journey, I was under the assumption that one was supposed to declutter their life first and then use that clean slate or what effectively would be a clean slate, a clutter-free life as a starting point for embracing their authentic self. And in some ways that's true, but at the same time, it's backwards as all get out. And let me explain what I mean. When you declutter first, you're forced to face your unfiltered self. No lies and no things to hide behind because you've either donated, sold, or threw away anything that you felt was no longer adding value to your life or aligned with the person you were trying to become. And to be fair, this is the exact approach I took at the beginning of my journey. And I made a ton of progress, and I've also learned a lot about myself, which helped me embrace my authentic self. However, these last couple of years, I've started to look at minimalism through a different lens. And rather than it solely being a tool that helps us declutter our life first and then embrace our authentic selves second, what if minimalist living, what if minimalism itself was just the outcome or the results of you being yourself, your whole self, your authentic self? Because both perspectives are true. When you prioritize being yourself, your whole self, your authentic self, by default, you also begin to prioritize what's important to you, the things that add value to your life, what you like, what you don't like, the things or people you want in your life or don't want in your life. And this clarity from just being yourself makes you want to declutter things. It makes you want to sell things. It makes you want to throw things out because if it's hindering you in any way from just being yourself, from doing the things that bring you joy, from embracing your authentic self, then why would you want to keep it in your life? Why would you allow it to clutter your life? And maybe that's the perspective shift you need. If you're struggling to stay consistent on your journey of letting go, or if you're new to this idea of minimalism and minimalist living completely, then just try being yourself, your whole self, your authentic self. Don't copy me. Don't try to copy your friends. Just be all the way you. And that clarity will tell you everything you need and don't need. And I think as I step into this next season of my life, this perspective shift and prioritization of just being myself, my whole self, is exactly what I need to stay both encouraged and motivated on not only my minimalism journey, but across any other interests I choose to explore because they bring me joy and confidence that I am on the right path in my life. And that the ideals of minimalism don't have to conflict with me being myself 
and keeping everything that comes with that. Thanks for indulging me. I hope you enjoyed this conversation. I hope it resonated with you. And if it did, let me know down in the comments. Keep growing, keep learning, and always stay true to you. I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Hmm. Make sure you drink some water today. It's important. <laughs> All right. Recording? Cool. All right. Let's chat. <laughs>